so here's uh, an email. And the gist is a guy texted his ex-girlfriend the day before his wedding to thank her for being his first love. Like, to be like, hey, thank you. And it's for taking care of him. Mm -hmm. He said he made it clear that he had his fiance's permission to reach out to her. The ex-girlfriend said she was speechless when she got the text. The fiance wants to know, is this a sincere thank you or is this weird? Or is he up to something? I don't, I don't get why he needed to do it. Let me read you what he wrote to her. Now, this is one of those text messages that you get, and it takes up the whole screen. Mm-hmm. And you have to. Sometimes you send those to me. Come on, I've learned my lesson. It's still sometimes like maybe back, but I mean it's been a while. Because okay. now I I I know better. Here's the text. He writes this to his ex girlfriend. Okay, he's about to get married, but he's writing this to his ex girlfriend. Okay. I'm getting married tomorrow. I wanted to send you this message. Thank you for being my first love. Thank you for always encouraging me. Thank you for keeping me out of trouble. And thank you for the times you took care of me when I was sick and depressed. That's the first part of it. Are we okay with that part of it so far? Yeah. It's weird. Yep. Oh, it's weird. Very strange. You think it's weird? Yes. So far, I'm kind of okay with this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's okay to share thanks, but okay. (laughs) On to the rest of the text message. Thank you for loving me. And if you haven't already, I hope one day you find love. If you love me that much when we were young, I can only imagine how strong and powerful your love is now. <laughs> hmm. hmm. What do you think so far? Okay. Getting getting a hint of weird. 9% weirder, right? Like, I still don't understand the purpose. <laughs> and but... I still don't hate it yet. Right. But un poquito weirder. Sí, 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 más o menos. Yeah. On to the next paragraph. The way your heart is made, it's amazing. Oh. I know we were only kids when we dated, <laughs> But you taught me what love is. Oh. To the man who's lucky enough to have you as their wife, I hope he treats you with care. I hope he knows who he has in front of him. I hope he shows you love and loyalty every day. You deserve that and more. My point of all of this is, you are the reason why I know how to love someone. You taught me love. You taught me how to deal with my anger, how to deal with my depression, and how to live life to the fullest. And I'm grateful for you. I wish you love and happiness. And that's the end of the text. Hmm. So he texts that to his ex-girlfriend as he's about to get married. It's really kind. Amy, your thoughts? I think it's, I mean, I don't think it's necessary. Like, I think, I'm trying to think of where he's coming from. And I think he's thankful. He's genuinely trying to say, like, you taught me how to love. Clearly he has some, like, stuff going on. And maybe he didn't, like, between, like, the anger and the depression, maybe he didn't really know how to receive love and give love. I mean, that could be something you, if you learn that. Let's not that, bring me into this. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this about this guy. I know. <laughs> I know it's not about you, but I mean, he genuinely could be coming from a place yeah. of gratitude of like, I wouldn't, he's not saying I'm in love with you. But he's saying. Oh my God. I How think do you he's, feel about this text? I think I'm sort of okay with it. Okay. It is. I don't, I, I don't know that it's necessary, but I think I understand what he's trying to do. And he's coming from a sincere place of gratitude of like, thank you for loving me and teaching me how to love so that I can now get married to the woman that I am meant to be with. Ooh. Let's go to Jessica in New York. Jessica, you are on the Bobby Bone Show. What do you think about this? Hi, Bobby. Hey. So I think it's a little weird that he went into so much detail. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I don't know, I think he's taking credit away from the, the woman he's marrying now. I think she definitely had a lot to do with the man he is today. I think he could have just said thank you. But I think that was just not fair to his fiance to go into that big of a whole spiel. Maybe just a thanks with a thumbs up emoji. <laughs> right. Thanks <laughs> and a wedding, like a wedding emoji. Mm-hmm. So you think it's a little much? It was definitely much. I just don't think it's fair to his wife okay. now. Let me say this. As someone who has trouble at times expressing openly feelings in a super interpersonal setting. I think it's okay. It's weird. It is weird. But he doesn't say anything like, hey, if you want to go one more round, let me know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything like that. Um, And it is, I'm agreeing. It's weird to read. But if he struggled with feelings, and listen, I went to this like four-day, five-day therapy thing once, and I came out of it like, oh, I need to actually share, overshare a bit my feelings because I've been undersharing for so long just to kind of rediscipline myself that it's okay to to give, uh, but yeah, real personal vulnerable thoughts. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it, especially if there's closure for him. It's weird. He needs to let us that. He, she read it, his 
fiance too. So yeah. it's not like he's doing it on the sly. Right. Weird, but okay. Kind. Very kind. And had it been like, let me, you know, uh, one more LMK, right? I'd have been like, like okay, yeah. not good. Yeah. I know. Or like, if you haven't found anybody, like, I, I still have a day until I get married. So <laughs> he puts a timer up there. Right. Still time. <laughs> yeah. Morgan no. number two, you're a girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. a girl. She's a girl. You're 25. What do you think about this? I don't. I don't know. To me, I just think the door is already closed, and probably his ex girlfriend is like, I already knew these things he's telling me. Like, you kind of come to that conclusion yourself when you get over a breakup. You're like. You know what I did good and or and I did bad. I I recognize those things on my own. So he just validated that for her. So you think it's but, too much? Yeah, but I don't think it was necessary. Whenever you leave, like a, let, I'll use AA for example. I've never been in, but I had a lot of family that was in, and I've, I've spoken to those groups before. Um, they tell you you have to go. One of the steps is to go and be like, "Hey, I'm sorry," or like to actually reconcile, pour your feelings out and. Say, this is how I did this. I wish I wouldn't have, and thank you for the. M- maybe it's part of that, too. Not that he's in a, a, a program, mm-hmm. but that's one of the steps. And maybe he's just going back. I can't hate on him. Yeah. I can't hate on him. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> right. I can't hate yeah, no. right. Uh, let's go to Michael in Missouri. Michael, you're on the Bobby Bone Show. How are you, bud? Hey, I'm good. How are you, Bobby? Good, man. What do you want to say? Um... You know, if you want to know if that's right or wrong, but, I mean, obviously you ask the fiancé, but knowing how my wife and I are, absolutely not. That that would not fly, and I don't think it would. I don't think it would fly with, regardless if she said it was okay for him or not. You know that that fiancé is feeling uneasy about that. I don't know if you read the I message. Know, yeah. I, I, it, it, to me, nothing. there's just never a you know. A uh, peach and then a phone call, you know, booty call. You know, mm-hmm. there's not those. That's not. I don't see that in this. You don't see like a like a future. Like, no, ju- just just like an overall feeling of like you. No, you, he's even wishing her happiness. Like he wants her to find what she deserves and what he's probably found. He probably could have weaved some of that in. Well, if anything, he's not giving her enough credit. He's like, I hope you find this. Without me, I hope you find this. Right, like, right, right. Like yeah. She's got it, dude. She's probably all right. She's got it. She probably don't you. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, to her, it's a little bit insulting. <laughs> yeah. But from him, I don't see an issue. And move on with your life. Huh. Like, if we can just express our feelings more, I get there where people, I, a lot of phone calls are weirded out by this. I, it is weird. Oh, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, Troy in Virginia. Troy, you're on the Bobby Bone Show. What do you want to say, Troy? Um, it's Tori. Sorry. Oh. Hey, Tori. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I just want to say it's bonkers because if he's fixing it married to this other girl, he should not be focusing his thoughts on the ex-girlfriend. It's a- so it sounds like it's a last-ditch effort to maybe Boom. put out feelers. No. For that's a yes, yes. And your, your opinion's valid. Mm-hmm. I, I, <sighs> it's so borderline that I don't think anyone's wrong on this. It, but mm-hmm. everything in every relationship is different. And if it works for him and his fiance, then it works. I'm good with it. Okay, I mean, I guess it could be putting out feelers. Maybe he's saying, like, if you haven't found love, I hope you do. He said that to seven do. people. He said that to all his exes. <laughs> See what happens. They all start to come out. They're like, I got this, too. Um, Tori, thank you for calling. Thank Where are you listening in Virginia? Liar. Where do you listen to the show? Excuse me? Where do you listen to the show? Our in show. Hampton. Oh, cool. Well, shout out uh, Hampton Road, Virginia Beach. We love that area over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Woo-woo. I love it over there. All right, thank you for the call. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.